Hey guys, just doing a video on my Whipple 3.4 liter supercharger, uh, port matching it to the Whipple Super Big Bore Mono Blade Throttle Body Adapter. So in my last video, I was explaining on how I was able to run the Whipple Super Big Bore Mono Blade without this adapter because the inlet on the Gen 2R was big enough to accept this throttle body with some port matching of the intake. Unfortunately, on the Whipple, the inlet is too small. The, in, the opening on the throttle body is actually wider than the inlet. So you do have to use the Whipple uh, spacer. So in this video, I'm just going to show what I have to do to port match it. Okay, so I have the adapter plate bolted on and you can see how much uh, material I got to take off. So I'm just going to mark that with a sharpie so I have a pattern on how much I got to remove. <clears throat> Alright, so as you can see I got to take a little bit off the edges. This far corner here looks like it's going to be thin, so I might leave a little bit of material there. But it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. Okay guys, so I got the uh, Whipple up on a homemade jig. Uh, I'm trying to use uh, gravity to help me clear the chips out. And I also sealed off the inside with vapor barrier tape, cleaned it first with some uh, throttle body cleaner so it'd stick, put some blue shop towel in the back, taped it off really nice, shouldn't get any chips in there. And I'll be using this uh, die grinder with a bit in it and then a couple flap wheels, some safety glasses and I'm also going to try to run my shop vac at the same time to try to suck up all the chips. Anyways, let's try it out. Okay, so here's how it looks after I roughed it out. Took quite a bit off. I leave a little bit in this corner because it's starting to get into the wall over here. So I can't go too much farther. I'll just have to blend it. Blend it all the way around. Should be good. So now I'm going to try a large flap wheel. Hey guys, so uh, my camera died when I was just finishing up the job, but anyways, here how it looks. I think it turned out pretty good. Get some light on it. As you can see here, the porting. There. Um, the tape and paper towel did a good job blocking of all, all the shavings and dust. I did clean up the inside three or four times with some uh, mass air sensor cleaner and uh, I did nick the front a little bit, fuck. But anyways you can see a little bit of black here on the edges. I decided to leave it because it was getting a little bit thin here at the side. 
So I just left a little bit of material there, but all in all it turned out pretty good. So I'm going to put on the plate and see how it looks with that on it. Hey guys, so here it is with the plate on it. So you can see here a little bit. I did leave a little bit of material just to save some wall thickness. And I can see down here, I could have took a little bit more off. This is a really thick part though, so I was having a hard time grinding it down. I might do it again later. It's just a little lip here. But the top looks pretty good. And the corners look way better. There's a lot more room in the corners. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you, talk to you soon.